Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, we will see how we can enable collaborative development in Power Apps or how we can enable or how we can enable multiple developers to work on single Power Apps at the same time. So this we will do with the help of Azure DevOps integration. First, I will show you the default behavior of the Power Apps and then we will see how we can overcome this limitation. Let's quickly get started. So over here, I have opened this app called Power Apps for Power BI and I have a simple uh, one gallery and one header in this app. The same app now I will try to open in this private mode with this test user 01. What I'll do, I'll click on this add and then we will see whether Power Apps allow us to open the app in edit mode for two users at the same time. This will give us an error that app is in read only mode because it is being opened by someone else. Let's see. Here you can see this dialog. Read only mode. This app is read only because someone else is editing control. So by default, Power Apps is not allowing me to make any changes if this app is opened by some other user. Even if we try to make any changes, for example, I'll say git integration v1. Here, if I'll click on this save button, I'll again get this error. This app is in read only mode save a copy that means i have to create a new copy and then work on a new copy in that case my changes will not be in sync with the other developers so let's see how we can overcome this issue for that uh, what you have to do microsoft has a feature called kit version control which is an experimental phase you have to enable that for that go to the settings of your app upcoming feature experimental here you can uh, see or directly you can search git and you will see this feature show the git version and control setting when i will enable this app this option will get enabled over here git version control here what i have to do i have to connect my app with the git repository for that in today's video i will use azure devops if i will click on this connect button in this dialog i have to provide the git repository url branch and directory name so let's go to the azure devops here i am dev.azure.com over here i've already have a project i can use this project i can go over here and i have a repository as well as the branches i can use that but for the purpose of this demo if you are not aware i will quickly show you how you can create a new project so you can log into dev.azure.com with your login credentials and then go to the new project how you can create okay you have got this let me see no i have to come out of this uh, project right now i'm inside another project called power apps okay now over here click on this new project button project name i will say ds tech mirror demo description blank and visibility i set it as private otherwise this will be available to anyone over internet advanced select version control as git and work item process as basic so this is the default selection i will not make any change and this will create as a new project now in this new project for the purpose of our integration with power apps what i have to do i will go to the repository and here if you will see there is no branch so i have to create a branch also we will be using this url this is the git repository url so we will be reading this url so you can copy it from here or you can copy it later also from where i will show you first let's create a branch called main branch now main branch got created over here there is no folder inside this branch that's fine now we need the repository url click on clone and from here you can copy this now paste this git repository url this is done branch you can type as main and directory name if there is any folder already present and you want to map your power apps to that particular folder you can mention the name over here or otherwise uh, what you can do type new over here and your power apps will automatically create a folder in this particular branch so let me type the name power apps for power bi or i will say Power Apps Git Demo. It seems to be more valid name uh, with respect to our demo today. 
and I will click on apply. Since I have already uh, used this before this demo, so automatically this is fetching it from my cookies, the username and the personal access token. But I will make it as blank and I will show you what you would be needing. Now you will get this pop up at your end. You have to enter the username. Username would be your email. And now the next thing is from where you will get this personal access token to log in into the repository. For that, go to your repository and again, I just wanted to show you from where you can get it. So you are inside your project, DS Tech Mirror Demo. Go to your repository and here under clone, you will find this generate Git credentials. Click on this and this will give you this uh, password. Just copy this. And here you can see this message, copy the password now, we don't store it and you won't be able to see it again. So just do one thing, copy this password and let's keep it safe in this notepad file. So this is my password. I'll paste this personal access token over here and this will allow me to sign into the repository. Here you can see create directory because that folder name or directory name which we have given it is not present over here, but this power apps will automatically create it. And this is done. Now this is the uh, Git repository URL. You are connected to main branch and directory name is power apps git demo. Now over here, refresh your repository and you could see this power apps git demo. And all the, all your power apps is present in these folders. Now we will go through this folder at a very high level, but at a later stage. Now, one thing to notice, you are getting this icon over here at the top the moment your app is connected to the git repository which is to commit changes and check for any git update that means if you are making any changes and once you will save so the other logged in users can click on this button and they will get the latest changes but we will see what is the limitation with this git integration also now first now as a next step i will log into my app with test user 01 so instead of going back and try to open it again, let me just try to refresh this app. So what I have done, I have clicked on control F5 and earlier what we have seen is we have got the message that app is in read only mode. But now over here we have got this dialog and now enter the credential of the another user that is test user 01. And now this personal access token would remain the same. So you have to share it with your development team and they, they can log in and click on sign in. Now we should be able to sign into the power apps in the edit mode. So that is the first achievement for us today. And here you can see there is no read only mode button. On the top you have this sync button which we have already discussed. Now let's see how two users or multiple developers can work. Now I'll go to this current logged in user and here let me make a quick change. I'll say version 1 or v1 in the header so this is the change i made and i'll click on save so save is done now i'll go to the another user called test user 01 and i'll click on the sync button and i'll say allow and you could see i got the latest changes in my app so guys this is how multiple developers can work at the same time Another thing, let's see. Now what I'll do is a test user 01. Let me make changes to my gallery. Over here, I've got this another label which is uh, showing me the user's you know, appraisals or rating. So this is the user department and their rating. So let me get rid of this label called label 5. Let's say I do not want to show it. And now I will click on save. And let's see whether the another user is able to see these changes and I'll click on refresh button or sync button over here. Allow. And you could see the latest changes over here also. And this is how both the users can work in sync. But there is one catch over here. Now if the two developers are working on the same screen and for example if I made some changes to my app and another developer is also making some changes to my, to my app and I click on refresh button my changes would be gone. So this 
uh, Azure DevOps integration is not meant for developers to work on the same screen at the same time. If you are working on the app at the same time, multiple developers can work on different screen. It will work seamless, no issue. But if you are working on the same screen, make sure other developer is not working at that particular time. Otherwise, both the developer will lose their changes whenever they will click on this sync button. So this is one thing because we have seen it over here also. But for example, if I am working on another screen, let's say I create another screen. And let me add a header over here quickly. I'll say I'll add one rectangle. And let me add one icon also. And I want to add an home icon. So I'll just select any icon for now over here. And from here, I'll say if I'll get it quickly, yes, home icon. So this is done. And on the click of this icon, I will navigate it to the another screen. I'll say navigate screen to this is done. Now let's see if it is working. And yes. Now this is done by this particular user. Let's see. What is the case for another user? Test user 01. I'll come to this screen and click on refresh, allow, and I should get all the changes now. Yes, now you could see I've got this screen one also. And if I'll click on this home icon, I'm able to navigate. So, guys, if you're working on a you know big development project where multiple screens are to be developed, so this uh, you know feature is a must. You can enable this feature and you can work on the multiple screen. This will save you from the manual integration efforts. If you are working on the single screen, make sure two developers are not working at the same time. One developer can uh, work on the changes and the other developer can then pick it from here. So guys, this is how you can uh, enable this as your or Git integration and you can work. Now, let's quickly go through this project which got saved over here. Now, if you will go through this canvas manifest JSON, over here, it has again as similar to the manifest file which we have in SPFX project or other projects. This is the same file which have got all the details related to your app. You could see app creation source, app from scratch, format version, talk version, and everything enable on start. Now, if enable enable on start is enable or not. If you are using fluent version and controls or not, error handling is there. True. If you have enabled it, so everything. It has got in this manifest file. You can go through this file at your end. Publish info is also there. Everything I said will be stored in this particular app. How many screens are there? What are the order of the screen? Everything. If you go to the source file, see screen one details are over here. This is a rectangle which I have just created in front of you. Height, width of that rectangle, on select functions, everything from that particular screen. Is stored over here in the TML file. Screen 2, there is a gallery control, how many labels are there. So, all these things will get stored just like a you know proper development project or any .NET project, SPFX project will get stored over here. So, the moment we'll enable this integration, the behind the scene, the entire code of my Power Apps will get stored over here. And with the help of this, I'm able to enable this co authoring or collaborative development so guys that's it for today's video 